Hello everyone, my name is Leslie Campusano and I will be doing my epi presentation on the Marburg virus. I will be referencing an article published by Daily Mail on February 17, 2023. On February 13, 2023, the Marburg virus was recently reintroduced in Cameroon where two 16-year-old children, a boy and a girl, were infected with this virus with no previous travel history. There are 16 cases of the Marburg virus overall, including nine deaths. This is mainly spread to those who are exposed to mines or caves infected with fruit bat colonies. It can also be spread by bloody or body fluids, contaminated objects or semen, or semen of those recovered. There is no treatment or vaccine for this virus. Why is this important? This disease is considered a cousin to Ebola, a deadly outbreak with no vaccine or treatment, which can cause another outbreak, affecting the lives of many people around the world. It is one of the deadliest pathogens. Its case fatality ratio is up to 88%. Some of the symptoms of this virus include <clears throat> Fever, chills, headache, dry cough, and tiredness. Its incubation period can be from 2 to 21 days, depending on how severe symptoms are. There is no vaccine or treatment, but there can there is hospital therapy, which only includes balancing fluids, um, health, checking healthy oxygen levels and blood pressure, and treating infections if needed why is this an issue this is very important because this virus is very close related to ebola a virus that caused about 11,000 deaths in 2014. it is fatal to about 90 percent of people infected and can be spread globally and turn into an, epi an epidemic if it is not stopped like i mentioned before there is no vaccine or treatment for this the World Health Organization recently issued an emergency meeting to discuss the Marburg virus, educating people all over the world about the reintroduction of this virus is essential to the health and safety of everyone, advising those in specific countries to stay away from mines and caves is very important. Ensuring all people in Africa are aware of this outbreak and taking safety measures if possible contact. Some prevention strategies of this can be avoiding mines or caves, educating the public about what is going on. For example, since this, uh, since this virus was recently reintroduced, it is very important for the public to know what is going on, how many people are infected, and how people can stay safe. Individual safety measures to prevent this virus is essential. Some support that the public can receive from the government includes effective surveillance systems and contact tracing, telling the public how to stay safe, when to stay safe, ways that, ways that this virus can be contacted and how people can prevent this. The health and safety of all people is very important, therefore providing resources to everyone is essential. I hope everyone enjoyed this presentation and thank you for your time. Thank you and goodbye.